For lab 32, we'll compare a cross-site script that does not use background requests against one that uses the background XML HTTP request object. As the demo page, we're just going to use the echo.php. And to get a starter script, we'll use the cross-site scripting hints built into Matilda. The HTML5 script works well for this demo. You'll notice that in the hints, Matilda already has a regular script and an XML HTTP request script, both laid out on the hints page, so we can compare them easily. We'll take the first script, the one that doesn't use the XML HTTP request, it just uses a document.location, a redirect. And we'll make some slight modifications. First off, we are not using localhost domain for our particular demo environment. We're using Matilda at local, because that's how it's been set up. And Matilda is also not running in a subfolder. It's just running at the root level. But other than that, this script is ready to go. It's going to capture the HTML5 tables and send them off to the capture data page. Go back over to the page and we'll inject the script and we'll watch what happens. And we should visually see the user get redirected over to the capture data page. Obviously, that's going to be noticed by a user. So that's what's remarkable about that version. Let's go back to the hints page. We'll grab the second script, which is the one that does use the background request. We're going to need to change it a little bit too. But for the most part, it's the same change. We are going to need to change the domain name. And also, Matilda is not running inside of a folder. So we just need to change that. But otherwise, the script's ready to go. And we notice right away that it's using the XML HTTP request towards the bottom of the script to send off the request in the background. Let's take this back over to our test page. We'll paste the script. And because this is firing off in the background, let's set up Burp Suite to intercept the request. It'll make it a little bit easier to see what's going on. Click on Echo Message. The first thing that happens is we get the request going to the echo.php page and the script is the payload. So we'll forward that onto the server. The server will respond with that page with the script embedded at the bottom. If we look for the results table down here, we'll see the script is right there. Forward that back to the browser. The browser is going to see the script and execute it, which causes the request to go off to the capture data page. But you wouldn't see this normally because it is a background request. So from the user's point of view, it'd be hard to, to notice this. If we look over here on the page, notice the user doesn't get redirected. The script is fired off. And we know that the request went in the background because we saw it in the interception proxy. But if you were just looking at this page, you wouldn't notice that anything had happened. We go over here to our answers. And we select number three, a cross-site script using the XML HTTP request executes in the background without affecting the user experience. Submit, and that is the correct answer.